Find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope. Are you? What do you want with me? Are you working for my father? Rescue me? No, I won't leave. It's too dangerous. It's not my own safety I'm concerned about. I'm worried about the fate of Nurik's daughter, Rahasia. She's been trying to convince her father to release me ever since I was captured. If I escape, Nurik will think Rahasia is to blame. Nurik is insane with grief over the loss of his son, Cassus. If I leave with you, it is Rahasia who will suffer. I cannot allow that. If you do that, I'll scream my head off and alert all the guards in the house. The only chance you have is to talk Rahasia into leaving. If you can convince Rahasia to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. Thank you. I wish you luck.
What are you doing here? Have you found Shen yet? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. You're back. Have you spoken to Rahasia? I pray she is not just telling me what I want to hear, but I will have to take that chance. Hurry then, we must not keep Rahasia waiting. Shen, you're safe. Rahasia! Oh, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. What? You... You're just doing this for the reward? How could you? I thought you... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandril! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son. You had taken my Cassus from me long before that. You started it. I don't want to hear any of your excuses. Now I will get revenge for your transgressions. We never ask for your help, Jedi. Do not press in matters that do not concern you. This is an internal affair for my family and is none of your concern. You should not interfere with our private business, Jedi. This will be resolved very shortly. This is a private affair, Jedi. You would do well not to interfere. We are allowed to decide the fate of our children. No, I won't. I can choose my own path. Shen, how dare you? I am tired of you controlling my life. I love Rahasia and I want to be with her forever. And I want to stay with Shen forever, Father. Do not trust that central girl, Shen. She is treacherous like her father and will only betray you. No, Shen, don't believe him. But... Get away from my daughter, Matale! I... I see. I wonder how I could ever have thought so differently about you, Rahasia. How could I have been so blind? Shen, no! I was foolish. My father was right. We are not destined for one another. It would never have worked. There would have been too many problems. Sometimes it's just better to let things die. Shen, wait! I love you! I'm sorry, Rahasia. It just won't work. In fact, I don't think I like you very much at all. You remind me too much of your father. Yes, and I thank you for showing me what I had to do. I'm ready to leave now, Father. Let's go home, then. Here is your reward, Jedi, for your assistance. This isn't over, Sandrils. I will take this affront directly before the Jedi Council and see you exiled from this world. Shen, no! Come inside, Rahasia. Let's get the stink of that Matale dog off you. Now this is what I've been waiting for. 
I will add your head to those of the other Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will know why the Mandalorians are feared. You're dead. 
Now those Mandalorians know what it's like to be hunted, but now that you've killed some of them, they won't stop until you've defeated their leader. You must find him and kill him too. Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. What? I did not think the Jedi were so greedy. You seem almost Mandalorian. I thank you for what you have done for me, but I have nothing else to give. The Council will hear of your deeds and your greed. That was beneath you. I hope in the future you will strive to be better than this. young Padawan. Have you discovered what it was that Revan and Malak sought in those ruins? This news of a Starforge is disturbing. Action is required, but we must not do so in haste. We must discuss recent events in light of this new information. We should consult the Jedi Archives to see if there's any mention of the Starforge and what it might do. We must learn why Revan and Malak sought it out. Return to your ship with Bastila, and we will summon you when we are done. Padawan, you have done well in discovering the star map hidden within the ancient ruins. But there is more you must do in the battle against Malak and the Sith. We Jedi know victory over the Sith will not come through martial might. The Council has a mission for you, Padawan. I've consulted our vast archives in an effort to discover the nature of this Starforge. But all my efforts have been in vain. Still, the Council are in agreement. The Starforge must be found. Revan and Malak sought it out when they began their tragic fall. The Starforge is surely a powerful tool of the Dark Side. The star map in the ruins showed you four planets. But it was incomplete. It did not show the location of the Starforge itself. We believe there may be similar star maps on other planets. Each star map is likely a small piece of a larger puzzle. Find the star maps on Kashyyyk, Tatooine, Manan, and Korriban, and we believe they will lead you to the Star Forge. The Jedi numbers have been ravaged by this war, by defections to Malak's cause, and by Sith assassins. But we realize the importance of this mission. Yet if we send a company of Jedi Knights with you, we would surely draw the full attention of Malak and the Sith, dooming your efforts to failure. Secrecy is our best defense against the Sith. 
but it would be foolish to send you on this quest without someone to aid you, young Padawan. Bastila will accompany you, for there is a powerful connection between you two. A connection that might be the key to unraveling the mysteries uncovered by Revan. And Juhani has also asked to accompany you. After long deliberation, we have granted her request. Juhani nearly fell to the dark side. Perhaps her presence will serve as a reminder to you of the dangers of that path. Of course, those who aided you on Taris will also come. They possess skills you may find useful in your quest. Remember that secrecy and discretion are paramount to your success. You will not be able to hide the fact that you are a Jedi, nor should you. But the true nature of your mission must not reach Malak's ears. You may return here at any time. Dantooine will be a sanctuary for you, a safe haven. Here you can find supplies and whatever advice or other aid we may give you. You can leave whenever you wish. The sooner the better. The longer you wait, the stronger Malak becomes. But first, a warning, young Padawan. The lure of the dark side is difficult to resist. I fear this quest to find the Star Forge could lead you down an all too familiar path. The fate of the galaxy is in your hands, young Padawan. We pray you are up to the challenge. May the Force be with you. <laughs>